Gonzan here with another Trail Space review. Today I am talking about the Sierra Designs Zisu Light 30 degree using their new proprietary dry down technology. This hydrophobic coating is applied to the individual down plumes and is designed to repel water. Sierra Designs claims that this imparts the down with hydrophobic qualities that re that allow the bag to be used in conditions with lots of humidity and moisture, including dew, rain, sweaty conditions, and high humidity, and that the down will maintain its loft and insulating properties. I'd like to talk about some of the features of this bag. It uses a very thin fabric on both the exterior and the interior. The exterior fabric is coated with a DWR, a water repellent finish. The Zisu Light 30 degree bag features a 60 inch zipper, which extends from the top all the way down to about three quarters the length of the bag. It's a double zipper, which allows you to vent the bag from the bottom in hot or warm situations where you want a little bit more ventilation. When we take a look at the inside of the bag, we find that a draft tube has been provided for the full length of the zipper. It is filled with down and works quite well. Along both sides of the zipper, there is also an anti-snag tape. At the end of the zipper, there is a small pouch of down-filled fabric, which prevents drafts at the end of the zipper and also protects your face from the metal and edges of the zipper. On the opposite side of the bag, we have a small convenient pocket for storing keys or other items that you might want to keep close. On the sides and slightly underneath, there are padlocks, small loops that allow the bag to be secured to your sleeping mat and can help you from moving around or sliding off of your pad in, in the night. The hood is equipped with a double drawstring closure and an ergonomic shape conformed to my head quite well. The foot box is quite comfortable with a, a generous amount of down on the on the end of the baffles so that my feet stayed warm in almost all conditions. The loops on the in, on the foot of the bag can also be used so that the bag can be hung in your closet or gear room or wherever you might have room to store the bag. Hanging the bag like that helps it to maintain its optimum loft and insulating properties. Also provided when you purchase this bag are a large vintage stuff sack for storing the bag in a relatively uncompressed manner so that the fibers of the down don't become crushed and retain a memory of being of being compressed. Also is a much smaller travel stuff sack that you would use when you're backpacking. The interior of the small stuff sack has a water resistant coating so that the down is protected should your backpack be exposed to rain or submersion when crossing a creek. As you can see, it compresses down to a very convenient and compact size. It is not, however, as compact as an aftermarket compression stuff sack would allow it to get. At this point, I have had the chance to use the Sierra Design Zisu Light 30 degree bag in a variety of situations and temperatures. <clears throat> the coldest night that I used the bag was about 35 degrees with rain. The warmest was in the low 60s. What I found was that the bag was quite warm. I also found, however, that it was susceptible to being saturated by direct rain. In the instances where I was just using it in high humidity or a foggy situation, dense cloud-like fog, I was about 5,000 feet and there was a, a, a cloud bank moving through. So it was, I was in the clouds, in the fog, and I was comfortable. The bag did not saturate. I remained warm. Uh, the temperature that night was about 45 degrees, 40 to 45, and I was, I was perfectly comfortable. Uh, rather too warm actually. It felt uh, a, a bit stuff, stuffy inside the bag and, and ended up venting the bag. On the night that I used it in rain, however, 
it was not a heavy driving rain, just kind of a, a steady drizzle, I found that the bag absorbed quite a bit of water, not only directly in through the fabric and into the down, but through the seams and especially through the zipper. This zipper affected to wick water directly into the bag and it pooled all along the inside of the bag. I stayed in the rain, exposed to the elements, using this bag for about two to three hours before I decided I've had enough, this is too cold, this is too uncomfortable. Though quite a bit of water had absorbed, had been drawn through the fabric and the seams and the zipper into the bag, the down actually maintained a surprising amount of loft. Within those few hours, the down had lost between 30 and 50% of its loft, but it had not become completely saturated and matted. It appeared that the bag would have had to become quite a bit more saturated before the down lost all of its loft, or most of its loft. The primary problem, however, was that the temperature outside was about 35, 38 degrees, and I was losing so much heat to direct conductivity. My body being exposed to water inside the bag was sapping away my energy. Through using this bag, it is clear that the Sierra Designs dry down technology definitely increases the water repellency of the bag and the down it contains. I did not find that it quite lived up to its claims that it could be used in rainy conditions or very moist conditions without significant ill effects uh, on the insulating properties of the bag. I would not recommend using this bag in the rain. In all of the other conditions I used the bag, I found it performed very well. Humidity and heavy fog did not seem to have any noticeable negative impact on the bag, at least not significantly. On a number of nights, there was heavy dew and condensation that collected on the exterior of the bag. Though there was significant moisture, the performance of the bag did not seem to be greatly impacted. I noticed sleeping slightly cooler, and there was a distinct clammy feel in the morning when I woke up. But water had not penetrated. I did not feel that there was, that there was direct moisture on my skin. I have noted that the craftsmanship overall in the bag seems to be quite good. I have not noticed any defects in the fabric, the zipper, or the stitching. All seems to be quite good quality. In my evaluation and experience with this bag in real world conditions, I have not found that it quite lived up to the manufacturer's expectations or claims of water repellency. The fact is that in rainy or really, really moist conditions, the water is able to penetrate and absorb into the bag. My only other complaint or frustration with the bag centers on the zipper's tendency to snag or bind on the fabric. Just simply zipping right there, it grabbed the side fabric. Often, it grabs the draft collar. In real life conditions, when it's rainy and cold and you are getting set up for the night or the next morning when you first wake up and you go to open or adjust the zipper and you find that it binds like it did just now, it's frustrating. You're worried about ripping the fabric, about releasing down, about, about damaging this product that you've spent a lot of money on. Hopefully Sierra Designs on this or future bags will widen the anti-snag tape just a little bit, maybe by a quarter or half an inch, which will add a, a little bit of weight to the bag. But I believe the added performance and lack of frustration would be well worth it. Though I found that the bag did not quite live up to the manufacturer's claims of water repellency, I was greatly surprised at how fast the bag dried once it had become saturated. On that cold night where it was raining and I was trying to stay warm, I brought the bag back to my house and draped it over the couch. The interior temperature of the house was about 65 degrees with relatively low humidity. Within about five and a half hours, the bag had nearly completely dried with only the smallest traces of moisture and certainly not enough to have inhibited comfortable sleeping had I needed to use the bag right now. Overall, my assessment of the Zisu Light 30 degree bag with dry down technology 
is that it is a very good down bag with the added bonus of having an increased water repellency and faster drying time. It's an excellent choice for someone who is looking for a lightweight, relatively warm bag for three season use. I only caution the buyer to be aware that it is still down, it can still become saturated. If someone is looking to make the transition from synthetic to down, or is trying to decide which to get, they're concerned about down getting wet and the negative effects or, or dire situation that that can cause, I think that this is a good compromise. The buyer needs to be aware that this, that the water repellency of this bag will not allow them to sleep out in the rain or in extremely wet conditions. It will provide an added benefit of repelling moisture such as dew, sweat, and mist. I would definitely recommend this bag to someone who is looking to make the transition from a heavier synthetic bag to a higher quality, lighter, warmer down bag. Mm -hmm.